Brendan has only just addressed the Celtic faithful, but the club are wasting no time at all this summer with regards to getting stuck into transfers. The club this week announced our first signing of the window in Thiago Home, but signing number two and number three could well be on their way, as reports suggest the club have agreed a deal over another signing. In today's video, we'll of course discuss this while going over all the latest Celtic news from the last 24 hours. But first, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Celtic content. Brendan Rodgers faced the media for the first time since returning to Celtic manager on Friday afternoon. The Irishman took all manner of questions from the media, a lot inevitably about his past at Celtic and how he left the club the first time around. When those questions were answered, the interesting stuff began to flow. The things that really mattered to the Celtic support going into the summer and beyond. One big takeaway was Brendan's view on the transfers as he prepares to take the boys on their new adventure. Having already secured Odin Thiago home this week, Rogers revealed he's looking to add quality but makes it clear there won't be a massive upheaval. It's not going to be lots of numbers coming in or out, Rogers told Celtic YouTube. When Ange came in he had a massive rebuilding job and did brilliantly. Over the last couple of years they built a squad so it's a case of developing that squad and adding quality where we can. Celtic have a brilliant squad at the moment that has another year under their belt. Brendan will bring a new set of eyes and perspective to what can be done with this side. He came in the last time and instantly improved players who were already at the club. This time he'll be looking to enhance the work under Ange Postagoglu. In other news, the club has reportedly successfully brokered a deal with Melbourne City FC to secure the services of brilliant Australian winger Marco Tilio. Subject to an agreement on personal terms and a successful medical, Tilio will join the hoops in the coming weeks, further bolstering the boys' formidable front line. Born on August 23rd, 2001, the Sydney 21-year-old attacker has made a significant impression in the A-League. Tilio has been instrumental in Melbourne City's success, contributing to their three recent A-League Premiership title wins. Tilio standing at 5'7 is primarily a right winger, but is known for his versatility on the pitch. He can also play as a left winger or an attacking midfield role, a flexibility that Brendan Rodgers would undoubtedly find valuable. The Irishman loves his wingers. The Australian international made his debut in January 2022 and has since earned five caps for the national team. His consistent performances on the international stage also indicate his readiness to make the jump to European football. This signing could come shortly after Rodgers confirmed the acquisition of young midfielder Odin Thiago Home from Malarenga. Tilio's recruitment reflects Celtic's ambition to not only retain the Scottish Premiership crown, but also make a significant impact in the European competitions. As the summer transfer window continues, the Celtic faithful can hopefully look forward to more exciting developments in Rodgers' squad reshaping process. We are no stranger to an Aussie at Celtic. Tom Rogic has edged himself into Celtic folklore, as has Ange Postagoglu. A winger signed under Rogers last time, Daniel Azani never made the cut after a horrific ACL injury. Let's hope Tilio can make a name for himself. After speaking to Celtic fan media, Brendan went outside to address Celtic fans who had been waiting outside to catch a glimpse of the invincible treble manager. While he doesn't regret leaving the club, he says he does regret the hurt it caused some. He then cheekily told his doubters that he would see them all here in May, the manager basically saying we're back for a title party. I know when I left here, um, when I left here four years ago, it was probably one of the saddest days of my life. I mean, it's real. I, I, went, I went on to a different challenge. You're always at home. But, uh, so I regret if anyone stood here today or, or at home, I was hurt by that, because I know that it hurt many people. But it, it's for that very reason I'm here today. with me and always with me let's enjoy the journey for those I need to convince I'll see you here in May and then we'll uh, thank you very much for coming he'll help former Celtic striker Chris Sutton has questioned the point of the backlash against Brendan Rodgers' return to Celtic Sutton who was vocal in his criticism of Rodgers abrupt departure in February 2019 has urged fans to look forward and unite behind the new manager Rodgers' sudden exit in 2019 with Celtic and course for a historic treble treble sparked outrage among a section of the Hoops supporters. However, Sutton argues that the dwelling on the past serves no purpose and that the focus should now be on the future and the Celtic fans should unite. 
it looks like not everyone is fully on board with Brendan Rodgers coming back to Celtic when you look at the snippy response from the Green Brigade. They are not shy about coming forward and voicing their opinions, and reappointing the former manager seems to have gone down like a lead balloon with some of them. They've made their feelings known and they can do what they like, but I will ask them this, what is the point? What are they going to achieve with negativity at a time when the club would be pulling together after Ange Postecoglou's departure? I just don't get the point of backlash. It was okay to be critical when Rodgers departed last time. Listen, I was critical as well, and stand by that criticism. But we are four years on. Is Rodgers going to be castigated from now until the end of time? Is he to be publicly flogged forevermore? What do these fans want? It's taken huge balls to come back to Celtic this soon. It would have been far easier for him to keep his distance if he really wanted another shot on the hot seat. Do it years down the line. Instead, he's taken the challenge and the fans should at least accept and look forward to an exciting future. Despite the controversy surrounding his return, Sutton is confident that Rodgers' proven track record of improving players will be a significant asset for Celtic. He cited the examples of Kieran Tierney, Scott Brown, Stuart Armstrong and Callum McGregor, who all improved significantly under Rodgers' guidance. You only have to look at his track record of improving players. Rodgers took some mild flack about some of his recruitment, along with talent spotter Lee Cogleton, but there's absolutely no doubt about his abilities as a coach. Kieran Tierney, Scott Brown, Stuart Armstrong, Callum McGregor, they were all at the club when he arrived, but Rodgers helped them take their games to another level. The likes of Rao Hatate, Matt O'Reilly, Jota and others should be thrilled about the prospect of working under the new boss. BBC Scotland has released a statement about being denied access to the media conference. The state broadcaster usually has access to Celtic media events like post-match and signings, etc. Yesterday when the media gathered, BBC Scotland were nowhere to be seen. Whilst the press conference was going on, the BBC put out the following statement. We're sorry that Celtic did not allow us to access today's media event. We are in discussions with the club in an effort to resolve the situation. It is likely Celtic will allow BBC reporters into the stadium and to press conferences when the football begins in August. We believe the contract the BBC has with the SPFL means Celtic is obligated to allow the broadcasters who put up a highlight package of games over the weekend. Celtic is not a club that bans many media outlets, even though sometimes you would hope to see some being censored for their behaviour. It will be interesting to see this play out and when it's under the auspices of Celtic alone to hand out invites to the BBC get a phone call. Celtic fans, what do you make of the potential signing of Marco Tilio? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video guys. Make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Thank you, take care, bye bye.